Tesla just had yet another amazing quarter. They just announced deliveries. It's a record breaking once again. But you know who's not impressed? The stock market. And seriously, this time for the stupidest reason. Not that they ever make sense, but uh, well, anyway, well, I'm going to tell you what the results are and I'll tell you what the stock market is down. It was down as like as much as 10% in the morning. I'm going to come, come down first and we're going to talk about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news uh, and sometimes therapy. Uh, if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you start your 2019 year right and not miss anything moving forward. Okay, listen, uh, you know, we, we expected that uh, Q4 just got to be record setting and breaking for Tesla and they've delivered. Um, now they've delivered, uh, I'm going to be looking at my cheat sheet here because there's a lot of numbers they released. Now this is not the earnings call, you know, note. This is just delivery notes. But um, 90,700 uh, cars delivered in Q4. Um, that's 8% up from the previous quarter. The Model 3 is they delivered 63,000 of them. And that's 15% up um, in terms of uh, uh, delivery and production. Now... Eh, it's, it's not as impressive as I, as I thought. I thought the production was going to really pick up for uh, the Model 3. 15% increase is not exactly, you know, either would be 30 or 40%, uh, but they are wrapping it up. Um, by my calculations um, and estimations based on what um, Inside EV is reporting, um, they're at about 840 uh, uh, cars, Model 3s per day. They're saying that they're closer to 1,000. Uh, I don't know. They just numbers don't support that. But this is only 2,000 cars off of what a uh, stock market or or wall street was expecting so that's literally two percent of um uh just a little over two percent of the expectations so that's not why the stock market is upset um now by the way 2018 deliveries together which was like 245,000, a little more than that um is almost as as many cars as tesla delivered ever so they had a huge year obviously because of model 3 ramp up um now, here's an interesting detail. Three quarters of the Model 3 buyers were not a reservation holders. That number actually probably the biggest news to me. So th there are a couple of things that means. And, you know, before I go any further, of course, let me just uh, remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by XRAC, um, the um, solution for a Model X and many other electric cars. Essentially, this is the roof rack uh, for your vehicle hitch. Um, obviously, Falcon doors and Model X do not allow you to put cargo stuff on top, and some people just prefer not to put it on top of their cars before because of clearances and the garages and stuff like that. So this is a great solution. Um, you can go in the description of this video, grab yourselves a discount code. That will also get you free shipping. So go to uh, xreg.us. Let's check out their products. They are pretty cool. All right. So um, uh, yeah. So before before I get to the stock market unreasonable reaction what i think is unreasonable reaction uh let's talk about the fact that three quarters of all model 3 deliveries uh, uh came for you know to customers that never actually ended up uh, being in the reservation uh, uh, list queue and i wonder why that is and actually that's good news for many reasons first of all it looks like you know the the reservation queue is still pretty long uh obviously people are you know including myself uh, waiting for a thirty-five thousand uh, dollar uh version and I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I really don't need it, but it's going to be like such a great deal, right? So but we'll see. Um, but it also means that uh, they were able to sell all this expression, expensive versions of this car to people kind of walking in, just kind of finding out about this car and just walking in and, and, and grabbing it. And that's really good news. That means that the reservation list not only means that there are a lot of interest up front, but also, and, and this is probably for Model Y as well, that a lot of people will just kind of going to jump on the bandwagon, so, sort of speak, literally, um, and give Tesla money and enjoy the car. So that was actually the biggest news that I think they had. Um, and they're also claiming that this is the best-selling premium sedan in the U.S., uh for uh, during a, a whole year span now tesla always likes to exaggerate numbers but it does look like it, it wasn't really the case yet it will be the next year model 3 will now destroy everybody which i'm hoping will make everybody finally realize they need to get their crap together and and and, and get things going finally um so these are all 
I mean, I'm looking at these numbers. I mean, Model 3, 63,000 delivered. Model S, 13,500 delivered. Uh, Model X, 14,000 delivered. That, 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 that's for the quarter. Um, again, the production of the Model 3 hasn't been ramped up as much as uh, I think everybody would have wanted to, but um, still great numbers. But again, let me talk about this stock a market that's uh, upset. And uh, it actually, um, here, I'll give you a full screen of this. It was 10% down at some point now, mid, well, closer to the closing. It's 6% down. And the reason they're upset is because, and I'm going to make a separate video about this because it's even the bigger news, but um, Tesla is going to be cutting their prices down by about $2,000, not by about, by $2,000 all across their models to partially offset the tax credit cut. Um, so, which is good news in some many ways because they're obviously trying to make sure that they're still selling quite a few in the United States. And by the way, they're still going to be um, phased out in, I believe, Norway for uh, cars over 50,000 uh, euros and so forth. Model S and Model X are going to fall into it for sure. Um, and they're already finding the same issues, uh, mainly with tariffs, really in China. Um, but um, listen, you know, they either sell less cars with the bigger markup or more cars with the, the lesser markup. It's not like it's, it, it should be taken as good news. Tesla is trying to make sure that their demand in the United States stays um, and they continue selling these cars. Uh, I mean, I, and, and by the way, this is, how did the stock market not see this coming, right? I, I thought they're supposed to be like smart analysts and stuff like that, that, you know, figured out. They know that demand was going to kind of plummet, right? Especially in January. Um, and the sales are going to plummet because they're not selling uh, Model 3 in Europe and China until February. So this is like actually pretty good, honest attempt at selling those cars. So those will still be at profit. So this is a profit that probably will, uh, will still make more sense than if the sales would be almost dead or or much much lower so i don't quite get that reaction again they always react like children i feel like you know in a stock market like 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 they didn't expect it and oh look you know things are happening oh my god you know we're gonna sell um anyway listen uh we're gonna hear obviously more um because there will be an earnings call pretty soon elon will break it down there will be more numbers but to me uh you know not as amazing as i thought as far as the model 3 production just like i said but listen, these are all record setting numbers and they will all be pushing other brands to do better and better and better because the proof of concept is over. It's been proven. Model 3 is definitely proving everybody wrong that everybody needs to be moving towards uh, um, you know, electric cars and they're in demand and you can make money on them and blah, 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 blah. Everything that we kind of knew many years ago and now they really should kind of be hit uh, in the in the, in the forehead and kind of figure this out pretty pretty soon, hopefully. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.